Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny and we are hashtag. 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 Hashtag, hashtag the cannons. CCT. Alright guys, welcome back to our eating show. Yeah. Alright guys, today we're back with another book bag and today guys, we have some spicy dipped chicken and some shrimp alfredo that I prepared yours truly. Guys, we're going to get all this food in just a minute, but first Danny's going to hit you with a couple of teens. Nah. I like teens. A couple of teens, nah. If this is your first time on our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and after hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload and give this video a thumbs up like it. that's right guys hit that button hit that bell make sure you become part of the family guys remember hashtag grow baby grow hashtag can it's moving closer to our goal of 50k you know what i'm saying so if you're a part of that number anyway we'll just say welcome 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 to you we're gonna go ahead and pray so that we can get in this food Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you bless this food, Lord. Let it be nourished our body and provide for those who are less fortunate. All these things we ask in your name. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. And thirsty. Mm-mm. This is some, um, um... Major Melon. Mountain Dew Major <laughs> Melon Zero. Major Melon. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, it ain't deep, but... Ooh. What? She said... Uh-uh. She said... Yeah. Oh god. You want it first. You want it first go. Yeah. Oh she bubbling. Uh uh, what that mean? Be hot. Yummy. Get a load of that. Get, Get a load of that. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna put it right. We ain't on box our plates yet, so mm -hmm. we ain't got no plates. We got rid oh, of all yeah. plates. <laughs> so but I'm gonna refrain from Eating out of the the, 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 dish. the dish because we probably had to freeze it. Oh, piece of shrimp, y'all. Mm. Alfredo is one of my things. I haven't baked any in a while. Mm. I just like them. I like to bake stuff. And I like mm. pastas. I was going to do like a one pot pasta for this, but I <laughs> couldn't do it. Look at that, y'all. Hold on. I gotta see. It's a piece of shrimp behind it, but mm -hmm. I'm just letting you see how deliciously creamy this is. Mm -hmm. Hot. Mm -hmm. Hershey. Mm -hmm. As y'all can tell. Usually this jump be right out the oven. <laughs> I let it sit for a little bit and set up, but it's still piping hot. Mm. Getting some of this chicken. I'll show y'all. If I don't, y'all be ready to. Be ready now. To the left. How's the spicy dip? Delicious. Woo wee. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Danielle didn't eat my garnish today. Oh, I'm gonna do that anyway. I'm gonna do that anyway, cause that's how I am. I want it to. I know, I think I told y'all last time. <laughs> we had something with shrimp that was supposed to, I was gonna garnish it on top. I'm gonna come back and say, where's my, where's my shrimp at? 
This food I, I ate. ate it. <laughs> I heard that earlier. Talk about, ooh, shrimp. I said, don't you touch it. <laughs> I don't regret it. It is not extra. Why would I just have three pieces left over? Why wouldn't I just throw that in? <laughs> I thought it was extra. No, you didn't. <laughs> Good to me. It's probably hot though. Mm-hmm. I can get in it like I want to. So is spicy dip like a common thing or? Where I'm from. Oh, uh, I had never heard of it until. It's in the I mean, area I'm from. Yeah. People know about it. Mm -hmm. Salisbury, Morrisville, Station, um, Kinnap, all that area. Mm -hmm. I think this is the most successful one I had. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Tastes similar to what... Fuck won't give you the recipe. <laughs> I'm gonna make my own. I'm gonna bottle it. Make my own. Since hey, y'all ain't wanna help me out. Make my own spicy dip. Get the world. Get the world on. <laughs> I was like, we've been making spicy. <laughs> well, you should have gave it to me. <laughs> I'm not sorry, we can't give up the secret recipe. Well, I didn't expect them to, but because I had. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe y'all think this is just. Somebody might think it's normal. Somebody might think it's bold. Some people might think it's trifling. But, so. If y'all don't, so spicy dip is just a sauce that like, it's just a couple of restaurants around town. I know somebody who actually makes hers too. They just take fried chicken and they dip it in. It's like a, it's usually a little thinner than this. I made mine a little thicker. And um, it's just got like a, a tangy, spicy taste to it. It's usually, um, and they just dip it right out of the grease. They usually dip the chicken in it and it just gives it a, yeah, it gives it a, a banging flavor. Danielle, I put her on it. Mm -hmm. Like a long time ago, I was trying to like make it. I wanted to make something for a YouTube video, but I didn't know what was in it. I didn't know how to get the flavor, and I didn't want to mess it up. So I messaged one of the main restaurants that do it mm -hmm. on Facebook and was like, "Can you please tell me what's in your <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just for my own personal use. <laughs> I said, sorry, we can't do that. We don't trust you. I knew it wasn't going to happen anyway. <laughs> Even if it wasn't a secret. If they felt like somebody wanted it. Oh, mm -hmm. But really, it ain't much to it. Not that I figured it out. But, so... Continuing on with that story, I know somebody who has their own little individual catering thing going on, <laughs> and I was I missed her. I was like, because she actually knows. I know people who know her. I don't, you know, I don't really know her personally, but you know, more a small town, so. <clears throat> When you bite into something too hot. <laughs> but she was like, she's gonna tell me it's not hard. She was like, you probably can taste it, just figure it out. There's not really many ingredients. You can probably figure it out. Just look at it, you can see what's in it, and then taste it. 
and you can figure out what's in it. I'm like, <laughs> but she didn't want to come up off of hers either. She wasn't about to tell me, but she was like, just taste it. If you can figure it out, I was just like, if it's that easy, you would show sure nobody trying to tell me. But I ain't pressure. I, <laughs> I actually bought some from her. I think it was, I used it on a video. Mm -hmm. I bought some from her, but I was just like, she's like, it's really easy. <laughs> mm-hmm. So sure, she can't come off of it. But she wasn't trying to tell me either. Mm -hmm. Can I see the spatula? Mm-hmm. Ooh. I don't need it. Let me get one of these garnishes. Yep. I will see them. This it's is just, probably bigger than I'm thinking. This just by me. Full, full, mm -hmm. man. Look at these. Yep, that's too much. I already know what I'm about to do. <laughs> Here we go. Really? <laughs> I don't feel like I don't even ate that much, but maybe I have. Mm -hmm. Why he got to be so hot? <laughs> huh? I said, why he got to be so hot? <laughs> you got shrimp in there too. Mm -hmm. That shrimp is holding on kind of heat. <laughs> Baby, you got to calm down. <clears throat> Good God. Mm. So do you think that they should be over here, um, Giving lawsuits to Travis Scott. No. I do not understand that. Now they're trying to get Drake too. I mean, I know it's sad. It is very sad. I couldn't imagine that being one of my children, but. But well, that was so many people out there. Yeah. The and he didn't tell them to, huh. to run on top of people. Nobody, like, he didn't even say rush the stage and that like that. Huh. Like, like that's what happens at a festival. Not that what happens, but I'm saying you got standing room. Right. So, the crowd gonna get hyped. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's a concert. I just think you need somebody to place the blame on. All right. Because you can't charge individual people for like looking for something inciting a riot. That's crazy. Right. It was a festival. You just gonna blame whoever on stage? <coughs> That's silly, but mm -hmm. I mean, I hate, I hate the way it happened, right. of course. But... I'm just like, maybe, you know, they could just consider the safety of these festivals and things all together before, you know. Right. That just seems like, a, that, listen, man. I'm like, should the security people be blamed? Bruh, listen to me. <laughs> you see that crowd out there? Before COVID, after COVID, I never even... I didn't even like going to since it's only in Charlotte because it'd be so packed. <laughs> that type of thing right there it makes me claustrophobic in general. Yeah. I never people on top of have interest stuff. of going to like a festival that's standing room only like that and you right next to somebody you don't know. Mm -hmm. Right there is too much for me in general. So and I'm I'm thinking about before this ever happened, and I'm sure it's happened to other concerts too. That right there seems like a safety concern to me before I even heard about this. I had no desire to attend that. So how do you sit here and try to charge somebody? Like, we knew that there was a risk that, that something like that could happen. Mm -hmm. It just so happened that it was in a high number and it was really <clears throat> bad this time. But that that doesn't seem safe to me at all anyway. You got people smashed up there, out there like sardines. If anybody starts, you know, somebody could fire shots in the air and then... You know, that's all they do. The bullet right. never killed nobody, but I guarantee you that would be very bad. 
Because guess what everybody gonna do? Right, Try right. to run and there's nowhere you literally smack right next to somebody. If somebody was to do something like that or people would feel like something was uh, uns unsafe or they would feel unsafe or somebody said, you know, anything like that, that would cause a, a big safety issue. Mm -hmm. So like, I don't think you can place blame on um, the artist. The artist. <laughs> That was a safety concern. They should have never right. did that. They should have never did that. If they if they were gonna have, you know, this in whatever area, a field or whatever, considering how much space you have, you need to sell only a limited amount of tickets. Mm -hmm. That's just period. That's crazy. In any case with COVID out, I wouldn't have wanted to be on top of folk like that. Well, everybody don't think like yeah, that. Yeah, that's true. And everybody don't think it's even necessary to um not hold these type of events but right you know that's crazy to me that's that's insane to mm -hmm. me people try to charge an artist and just scheduled to perform like are people not going to get excited about music that they paid to come see especially that's, if they favorite artists honey that's stupid mm -hmm. like what are you trying to say like mm -hmm. So was it at the beginning or it was while he was performing, I, don't know. I guess. I don't know what happened. Like I said, you can't charge people individually who trampled on somebody. So you try to place blame on somebody. All right. Somebody out for blood. And so the easiest target is that just don't make sense. And I think some of the parents I even trying to sue him. I'm like, well, how do you? I don't know how he gonna get out of it. Like, I guess that's what your lawyer is for. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. You know that money game. Crazy. They gonna win too. Are they gonna win a civil suit? Mm -hmm. The victims' families. Are they gonna win a civil suit for this? The money come out of somebody's pocket. Whether it be the city or the uh, promoter or whoever. They gonna win a civil suit for this. Mm. I guarantee that. That is crazy. Speaking of kids, I have a a subject. No, it's all right. Gonna look over here. So there's this couple, right? When they first, when she first met the man, he said that he didn't want to have kids ever. ever, ever. <coughs> but she said that was fine for her then. So fast forward some years later, mm -hmm. and now she wants kids, and he does not. Is this a deal break? Like, should she leave? So he still don't want her. Yeah. He, he didn't want him to get in here. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, she can do what she wants to at the end of the day. Yeah. But it's kind of unfair to him, considering that he disclosed that at the beginning. That's true. And especially when like when I was reading it, it was she she didn't say that she was like totally for not having kids. Mm. Like at that point, you know, when you're young like that, you don't you twenty one or whatever, you ain't thinking about really having no child if you know but if you don't already have them. Still. But I think that probably I would have expressed, hey, you know, right now, no, I don't want them. But so they're married, right? Mm -hmm. They got married, right? Mm -hmm. It was still her decision to marry him. That's the point. Like, if she, if it's a deal breaker for for her that he doesn't want to have kids, like I said, I mean that's probably what's best is they separate anyway because it's just gonna cause a, a big rift. Right. But at the end of the day, like it's still unfair to him that he should be pressured to have to go through that whenever he disclosed that from the beginning. Like the whole. I'm young and I was not thinking and everything. That still applies to him. His decision is still solid. Right. Apparently, you know, nothing's changed for him. They still got married, so they both have. You know, you're both. You're always responsible for who you marry. Mm -hmm. And so, like, yeah, if it's a deal breaker, then it's a deal breaker. But it's still, it's it's unfair. It's an right. unfair position. Even if it's not, if she pressures him with having children. That's not fair. If right. he doesn't want to do it, and he's always said he didn't want to. Like, it should have been a deal. If it was a deal breaker for him going into the marriage, you know. If she, if she, but she just kind of like in the back of her mind was just like. 
Well, maybe he'll change one day. We'll get a little older, he'll see differently. That uh -huh. never works like that. Usually when you go in something with that mindset, no matter what it is, if you waiting on somebody to change their mind based off of what they see later, it might happen, but nine times out of ten, you're going to be the disappointed one. Because you knew, you know, deep down inside, you know. And then most of the time when you meet people in that age group, probably 25 and up, you're kind of who you are. Mm -hmm. Like, there's this Jesus go ahead and intervene in your life probably for you to change, right. you know, no, the way you think or... I'll say this. <laughs> I'll speak uh, on it. Uh. I'll speak on it. You know what I'm saying? I am. Yeah. We can come on. <clears throat> Ooh. This is taking too long. Hey, bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. I, um, when we first got, well, when we first started talking, I didn't necessarily, I didn't say I didn't want kids, but I knew I didn't want kids then. I wanted kids one day. I didn't, um, yeah, I'm trying my best to get this at the bottom of <laughs> You but, wanted I put all that ice in there for you. But um <laughs> <clears throat> I said one day. But and I still feel that way, but today now I feel I feel different about the whole situation in general. Like my it's not even that um my thoughts have changed about having children, but <clears throat> seeing seeing Having a child as my own, I see that differently now mm. than I did then. Like it's, I see it in a different light. Things have changed that way, but you know, if I would have said <clears throat> in the beginning, like if I would have said that I didn't want any or whatever, you know, I mean that could change, but I would not expect her to, you know, try to um, try to, you know, hold out that for a change. No, mm -hmm. don't do that. Because you never know what you're going to end up with, especially in a, uh, a commitment like marriage. You don't hold out for nobody to change. Mm -hmm. That No. You need to know what you're getting. And you need to expect what you have to stay the same. You know, things are going to evolve and stuff like that. But you can't. No major changes. If if you marry a piece of doo-doo. Mm -hmm. If they're a piece of doo-doo. <laughs> Not doo-doo. The doo-doo. If they're a piece of shiite. Stop that. <clears throat> just expect them to be that way mm -hmm. you know don't say that one day you know they when they get change. older because I done seen some 50 year old um P.O.S. I done seen a uh, man and woman yeah. I done seen them 50 years old it, I mean like at the end of the day you gotta you gotta expect people to be where they are when you marry somebody you marry them for who they are not who they're going to become because we don't know the future like that's just stupid, but you can't tell folk that. As spring, uh, <laughs> spring 2030, Danielle might not be as like like by AJ as uh what 2016. Right. <laughs> I you know you well, go through changes. Well, we you know we might be much different people in a in a better way, but I'm saying you you have to marry somebody for who they are. You expect to evolve, but you don't expect them to. It, this is this is change for the better to stop treating you like dirt. I get that if that man or woman was cheating on you before you got Damn. married. It's don't probably expect, don't, a seventy five percent chance they don't gonna expect, continue. Or some people expect the media to change when you get a ring or a baby. That's stupid. I've never understood. That is that, that is a lot, <laughs> that is that, never you expect a life altering event just uh, something like that just to make somebody see differently. For some people, it does happen. Mm -hmm. It really does. But I don't think that the, that waiting for it to happen is the smartest thing to do because I think some people have to come to that on their own. And you know, what I'm saying okay, you know, I got a child now. Or I got I'm in a whole marriage now. You know, I can't be the type of person I was before because I got more people to think about than myself. So let me, you know, what I'm saying better myself. But some people don't. That that just don't work. You know, they're going to be selfish or whatever character flaw they have, it's going to stay there and, and it ain't going nowhere because they like it. Right. <laughs> That's, you don't change unless, <laughs> you don't intentionally change for the better unless you just become a little bit disgusted with whatever is, is the negative. Mm -hmm. If you like the negative too much, you're going to stay there. <laughs> if, they, if you do, if whatever it is, if they like it too much, they're not going to change it. Right. You know, so... I mean, cut it out. I don't know why people do that. And this whole situation right there is a, 
Yeah. Like that, I'll be pissed off. If that was me. Like I'll be upset. Like if even in 2016, if you would have said, you know, what I said like, uh, <clears throat> what you think about having kids? And I would have said, I would never ever want to handle. I don't want to handle a little brat can stand, a little running around, little rascal smelling, eating hot Cheetos uh, uh, and with those Cheetos. wet fingers and you know <laughs> and uh, peeing all over the toilet seat and on the ground and all that. Just, I, if I would have said that, and I would have let you know emphatically that I don't want kids, and you come to me, slob. If you come to me, 2021, and say, AJ, when are we going to have kids? I'm going to say, didn't I tell you that I don't want kids? And you say, well, I want kids. And me? I, well, I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> I want kids. And if you don't give me kids, and I mean, I don't know, I'm, and I'll be mad. I'll be like, really? This is what you're going to do? You're going to mess up our relationship because you decided now that you want kids and this and that, even though I told you that, that, you know, my, my whatever I got going on don't matter. That's that people really need to get out of the one sidedness of relationships. They do, you know, I, it's just not cool. I wouldn't expect her to change something that she was emphatic about when I married her. Like, whatever it is, whatever it is, what's something that you just was standing on? Like, you ain't why are you looking at my head? <laughs> what you mean? You gotta live. Ain't that what y'all do, blend it? Stop! What Little is sauce. it? Oh, why would you blend it? <laughs> why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? Now, what was you saying? Talking about what? Some bad. These tall folks be looking at my head, and I don't know why. I don't like it. I don't know. This is a focus. Like point. I, they, they look at me up here, and I'm like, is something wrong with my head? Like, what's my hair doing? Why are y'all looking at me up there? Just cause I'm on the floor. Is you got to look at me, look at me up here. Man, if you don't answer the question. What did you ask? You too busy running on a tangent about your head. Don't nobody care about your head. Come on. I'm looking at it right now. This is a focus point. Well, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you, I said, is there anything that when we got married that was like something that you did not want to compromise on and you ain't changing? And you still feel the same about today? Mm, you chewing something? What you got? We got a little piece of meat. <laughs> Got and a piece of shrimp still. Um, let me see. <clears throat> I don't think I have anything. Um, in fact, the kids thing is what I changed because I didn't want them. I did not. I didn't want them. I didn't um, care. As I was I like, if the you. Lord bless, <laughs> he bless. If he don't, then hey, I'm just going to party like it's, you know, uh, uh, 1965. I'm just going to buy all, you know, if, if I become financially oh, secure, I'm going to be selfish and buy everything that I like because I don't have any kids to spoil. But, you know, that was then. I was like, I didn't, I didn't care either way. So. So when you say this compromising thing, are you talking about like if you do something like I'm gonna No, do it's this? just no 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 no. I was like just something that whether it be something that you wanted or something that you didn't want, whatever it is that you were just pretty much firm on that that is the same now. Something that you wouldn't change, like like you haven't changed like Yep, I do I do have one. I just thought about what it. Is it? That I told myself when I graduated, I was gonna have me a house by 30 and I'm gonna have it. Okay, <laughs> come on, Trudy. Before I turn 31, I'm gonna have me a house. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna have. So, yeah, do you have anything? Now, before we get that house, we gotta get our penthouse suite. Hey, hey, I'm hey, I'm trying to be in this car. I'm trying to own something. Some of you are talking about a We can own a condo in the sky? Shut up. I don't want to be in something to overlook the city. I don't think I want to go to Atlanta, though. Nobody might want to look over there. There's too much, there's too much going on in Atlanta. Nobody want to look over Atlanta. Charlotte, there's about too much going on in Charlotte, too. But I think I'll take Charlotte over Atlanta. Yeah. I just need to get my condo on the uh, whatever the top floor is or close. To, I take close to the top with a nice little, with a nice little big, big four, five window view. You know what I'm saying? You see the city lights and whatever, and I can stand there it's with my uh, with uh, my uh, Hennessy. <laughs> not your Hennessy. I oh, hope Hennessy be lower then. It's cost so much. Huh? I hope Hennessy be lower. Price. Shut up. It be high. <coughs> you gonna pay for it? Uh, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> and don't wanna pay forty dollars. <laughs> <laughs>
a five thousand dollar money what? penthouse and then don't want to pay for a bottle of Henny. That's crazy. Now nah, that's crazy. Nah, I don't care. Henny cost too much. It, it, nah, and lately they've been a little ridiculous. They have, but it's been a shortage, and I ain't been buying it. <sighs> but anyway, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and sign up out of here. If you haven't already, please make sure you like this video, um, subscribe to the channel. Mm. You know, do all that, you know, make it funky. No. <laughs> I'll make it fun. <laughs> Drop a comment down below so we can interact with you in the comment section. Also, guys, remember to share this video. Share it out with everybody, anybody, everybody, 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 because sharing is caring, so care about us. Care about, about us. us. Love everybody. Love all y'all. And watch the last video. Uh -huh. We are no longer homeless. We are in our home. <laughs> now, granted, <laughs> we're surrounded by boxes I and, I it. and just click but we here all right click <laughs> we here yeah, so that's all i had all right y'all yes, bye bye